Hey guys, welcome back to day five. We have a special hybrid, hybrid resistance day for you today. What does that mean, you ask? It means that in between every single exercise, we're gonna do a cardio. So we go from resistance to cardio, resistance to cardio. And guess what cardio workout we're gonna do? Um, not sure, tell me. Skip it! <laughs> We're so excited about the addition of the speed rope. I have like whip marks on me. I'm trying to get the hang of it. So if you're doing that as well, if you keep lashing yourself, don't worry. It will come. It's par for the course. Yeah. And maybe it feels kind of good in some ways. Wow. No, but like, then. you know, like that little, <laughs> not like <laughs> that. <laughs> okay. Anyways. So we're working through a lot of different exercises, 13. I think that's the most that we've seen so far. So far. We're changing things up. Other than mobility. Other than mobility. Working through 13 different exercises with a timing of 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're going to do two sets. Okay, two sets of each exercise. That's it. That's all. And then we have a really f so much fun stuff today. Finish, sure. Finish, sure. I know the programming is next level today. Okay, Next so we have level. a really, really, really fun, quick and light arms. So it's gonna be something you've never seen before. You might hate us a little bit tomorrow, but that's okay. No, at the beginning they'll be like, what, what were they this? talking about? And this then, is so easy. And then they'll be like, ah. I can't feel my arms, yeah. I can't feel my arms. Baby dinosaur. I can't feel ah. my arms. <laughs> okay. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna get right into our warm up. We're gonna start with an Wait, inchworm. Equipment? Oh, equipment. We have Jeez. so much equipment. Okay. So obviously we'll do our best to accommodate as little equipment as possible. Skipping can be skipping um, on the spot, of course. So we have our bench. We're going to be seated for a couple of things. We have the skipping rope, a mat if you need it. I like to put it over the bench just for ease because there's a bit of a um, tread on there. The pink thing. Um, we're going to use the ankle weights on our hands for the finisher, which is super exciting. Um, totally diverse. Then we have a couple sets of weights, actually three. So kind of your max, your max in like a, an overhead press, I'd yeah. say. And then something light, like a five or a two and a half. And then a plate. And that's, that's it. it. That's all. And we're going to get right into that warm up. Okay. We're going to start with an inchworm. So nod your chin in towards the chest. Roll your body down. Walk your hands all the way out. Hands below the shoulders. Push through the palms to come back towards your toes. Stay folded forward as we walk out. We're going to warm up those shoulders, the back of the body, the core, and bring a little bit of mobility through the hips. Ooh. All right. Next up, in a few seconds, we're going to be staying in that plank position. One more in, one more out. So stay here, guys. So watch those hands directly under shoulders. Then we're just going to windmill those arms, trying to keep those hips nice and square to the floor. Get lots of mobility in that shoulder joint. Well, doing all the things, squeezing those glutes, keeping that plank nice and strong. Feels so good to move the body. Okay, we're here for another three two and one keep both hands on the ground we're going to take one foot to the outside of that forward hand pulse for two kick it back and take it over to the other side opening up those hips okay it's not enough pulses i need more pulses <laughs> oh my hips oh i feel so hips nice don't lie all right we're going to come up after this and do a reverse lunge, but another 10 seconds here. Ah, you're right. There aren't enough pulses. <laughs> All right. We're going to come up to standing. All right. We're going to do a reverse lunge with a rotation. So we're drawing back with that left leg, rotating to that opposite side. Then we're going to switch it up. Try to rotate through the upper middle back. Keep it out of the lower lumbar and let your gaze follow along. There we go. Feels so sticky. We got another three, two, and one. Okay, so we're standing and we have those hip circles. We're gonna take the legs out. We're gonna stay on this side, going in this direction. Switching now. Let's switch directions. Woo. It's going too fast. Yeah, if you need to slow it down, go ahead and slow it down. It's resistance. We just want to warm up all of our joints, raise our core body temperature, let your body know that the action's about to come. 
Ooh, okay. Now, other side. I can't even like think of which direction my leg needs to go. <laughs> back. <laughs> Just think back. It's like walking Knee and chewing gum. Back. Now, see if you can. Pat your belly. Pat. No, there's oh no way that's it's happening. Almost happening. Seriously, you're gonna put me on the spot like that? <laughs> Switch directions. <laughs> I think I have a hard time doing that when I'm not trying to circle my hips. I know. That's the idea. Ah! My kids do that. And I'm like, am I doing it? And I don't have the heart to be like, no, Tell you're not. No. So I'm like, yes. Or like the tongue That's rolling amazing. thing. Yeah. And they're like, am I doing it? Arm circles. No, <laughs> no you're not. <sighs> All right. We're going to switch directions in 10 seconds. Ooh. And switch. Okay, our very last warm-up exercise is a nice deep squat. My favorite. And we're going into that now. So find a nice wide stance. Come down low. Take the elbows to the inside of the knees. Push outwards. If it's too intense to stay down here, you can always jostle from side to side. We're going to come out of it. We don't want to hold anything for more than 30 seconds in a warm up, especially before resistance, because it temporarily weakens the muscles. So let that be your marker. Two and one. All right, let's go ahead and grab that skipping rope. That is our very first exercise. Just thought of something. This gonna be, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> okay, eight seconds. Our very first exercise is skipping. Directly after that, we're gonna reach for our bench and a fairly light set of dumbbells. We're on in two and one. Here we go. So, ah! <laughs> you treat this as an extension of your warm up. You don't have to go balls to the wall just yet. <laughs> a nice steady tempo. Let your body get used to what's happening. If you want to be fancy, you can go ahead and add a little footwork in. If you were on the double dutch team in high school. <laughs> Every time I try to talk about being fancy, I screw up. I, I step on the rope. Three seconds, two, and one. All okay, right, we're gonna grab, grab those benches. So we're gonna pull our bench forward. Okay, we're going right back to that rope after. I want you to sit right at the edge, fold forward. We have three seconds. Keep your back flat, two and one. From here, we're just taking the weights up to contract those shoulder blades. Okay, we wanna activate the rhomboids, the traps, those rear delts. Try, if you can, to soften the shoulders down. And Don't let them hike up to the ears, right? Yeah. So guys, another 22 seconds here. So you'll get a better idea of what weight you should be using, knowing the timing, picking your tempo. We've chosen lightweight for this one. It's kind of the theme. I'm glad this. we did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad we did. Two and one. All right. Let's go back to skipping. Don't throw those weights away. We're coming back to this exercise directly after, OK? Oh. I'm going to be so good at skipping by the end of this one. <laughs> we better be. Six seconds. <sighs> if you want to start early, go ahead. <sighs> I'm starting early. Here we go. So, so the, lots of skipping. What's I think the we idea of the it. skipping in between? Huh? What's the idea with the skipping in between? Well, it's a hybrid exercise, so we want to focus on developing our muscles, focused on long lean, and then in between, we're picking our heart rate up. So there's a lot of muscle confusion happening. It's similar to a hit sprint, where you run, or you jog for 30 seconds, and you sprint for a shorter interval. That fluctuation in your heart rate forces your cardiovascular system Woo. to readjust quicker. Makes you nice and quick. That rope never goes too far. Okay, right back to those rear delts. Woo! We in. actually end up having a lot of time in between. Quick and dirty. <laughs> Three seconds, get into position. Two, let's fly. So guys, after this, as you know, we're gonna skip, and then you're gonna wanna grab a heavier weight. 
We're going to do a press, unilateral press. So we're going to be working one side at a time. I think we're going to use tens. We're still so. working for 40 seconds. We're going to need the bench. So skip, then bench, and your press weight. This is my favorite way to train. What? Hybrid style. Oh, yeah. I love it. You stay in that kind of fat burning zone, right? Yeah, and you calm down for just a second, and you're like, oh, it's over. But it ain't. It's torture. <laughs> it's not. Woo. Okay. Right. So right out the gates, I'm going to reach for my heavier weight because I know I'm going to need it and bring it over to my bench, grab for my rope, and get ready to skip. Okay? You have another six seconds. If you need to take a sip of water, this is when you do it. But if you want to get started, let's go, homie. Here we go. If you guys don't have this speed rope yet, obviously you can use like your kid's little toy. <laughs> or no or rope. Hop a on the spot. Jump is also really great. Which one? Hollow jump. Yeah. Where you're just bouncing on your toes. If you're doing that, I would suggest Ooh. taking something into your hands as well, okay? So two pound weight, three pound weight. That's a good point. A little one pound weight can go a long way. Yeah, that's perfect. Woohoo! Okay. Get our bench. We want to find the lowest incline on our bench, okay? Coming down. And it's a press, but we're starting in that neutral position. And then one arm comes down, driving through, all the way back up to the ceiling. Keep those feet nice and flat on the ground. Your back ribs are anchored on the bench. And if you found that you picked the wrong weight, remember for the next set, we get one more hit time, one more try at this. So because we're using unilateral, because we're working unilaterally rather, our core has to stabilize us as that one arm goes out to the side. Do you feel that, Jess? I do. Absolutely. Find your breath. Woo! Okay. All right, so keep the bench in position. So we're coming right back to it. Skip it. Okay, what say we skip on the right foot? <laughs> for half the time, skip on the left foot for the other right. half. You 20 seconds, you guys try it. 20 Go. seconds right, 20 seconds left. I feel like we need a skipping <laughs> song, don't we? I don't know what I've been told. No. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter, please calm down. Helicopter, helicopter, touch the ground. <laughs> ah, and switch. Left foot. Already? We're at 20 seconds. Goes by real quick when you're skipping. Woo! This is my worst side. Okay, 10 more seconds. Keep going. Probably feel those leg muscles. Woo! -hoo. And the calves. Lighting up. The calves are ah! lit up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Okay, back to that chest press. Okay, if you didn't pick the right weight the first time around, this is when you up the ante, okay? Six seconds. Woo! Heart rate is up. Okay, right into that chest press. Let's go. All right. Remember, we're skipping again directly after this. And then we're going to need a dumbbell. If you have something a little bit on the heavier side, this is when I would reach for it. We only need one. Oh, I feel it. Feels so good. 10 pounds. It's not nothing. It's not nothing. <laughs> it's not nothing. Is that a double negative? <laughs> sure is. It's not nothing. I don't I not want you to come. Something. I don't not want you to come. <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, double negatives. I don't not want you to do uh, it. Okay, yeah. I don't not want it. Okay, bench out of the way. <laughs> Back to the ropes. There's lots of moving parts here, so you have to have your room set up before we start, okay? What are we doing now? Can you cross over? Oh, shit. Are you kidding no? me? What do I look like to you? How about high knees? Like that? Let's gallop like ponies. 
crossovers. Did I tell you about the whip marks? <laughs> she wants me to do a crossover. We'll get there. She liked it. <laughs> she said so. I'll get back to those crossovers. It's been years. Is it Still just me or is your seconds. tempo up? Ah! Might be up. Might be up. Keep it going. Come on, we got this. Oh. Five seconds. Oh, three, two. Ow, whip mark on the back. <laughs> Woo! All right, what's up next? We got that Snap. clean to overhead press. Talk us through it, baby girl. All right, so we're gonna have one weight. We have 15. Because we're using momentum, we can go a bit heavier here. Coming up, that elbow's coming around, that wrist is cleaning up, and then a press up. As you come down, neutral position, we're gonna switch hands, clean to shoulder, and up. Woo. Toss it. Come down, switch. Looks super impressive. Oh, this feels like nothing after having your heart rate get amped up for those, for those skipping sets. Press. Ooh. Guess what? Grab your ropes. Oh Ooh. man, up against the ropes. Do you remember that? What is it? Up against the ropes? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Tammy and I were extras in that movie. I don't know if we made the. Maybe. I never actually Look watched the movie. Look for a girl with red hair, really big curly fro. You probably were in it more. I don't know. And a pink shirt. You had a red fro? Yeah. Did like, put a wig on you? No, it was like my Rihanna days, remember? Oh. Before Rihanna was a thing. Oh, yeah. That like dark red auburn hair. <laughs> and I, I always wore works. curly. And it was bigger than my entire body. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember we were on the set. Ah! And there's like hundreds of people. And someone who was a waitress, acting as a waitress, broke a glass. And it took forever. We had to stand there. Really? Oh my god. Well, everything was put in the exact same spot. Okay. Back to those cleans. Again, if you pick the wrong weight, this is your redo. In life, we don't get redos. But here, tone and torch, occasionally you get a redo. If you have the kettlebell, feel free. Two, one, here we go. Ah, I did the toss in the wrong place. I know, I did it too. You want to pick a weight that is heavy enough that that upward momentum is needed to get it onto your shoulder before you go into that press. Similar to a clean and snatch, except we are separating the press because we're going a little bit heavier. If you have something that's too light for you, you can definitely just do clean and snatch, okay? Last one. Woo! Nice. Okay. Grab the ropes. <laughs> Grab the ropes. You don't say. I love it. I love it. Ever since I these bad boys came into my life, I haven't put them down. A little secret. When I do my own workouts in the summertime outside, and I just don't have a ton of equipment, this is what I use as my cardio in between. A workout exactly like this in between my sets. Or if Another I little show. secret. If I'm doing something and I have an injury, like a lifting program, and I have an injury, or sorry, a cardio program, and I can't do something that's very plyometric, I grab my rope, okay? So there's no excuses. Uh, no excuses. How's that whip mark feel? <laughs> Didn't whip. Not too bad. Okay, 10 more seconds, and then we're gonna grab for our bench. Lay it nice and flat, okay? Three, two, one, I did it. Okay, grab your bench, get rid of the incline. We're gonna do some back extensions on them, okay? So what that means is we're going flat. Here we go. I like to get my chest just over the edge. Hands behind the head, let's go. Up and down. This isn't a big movement. You wanna think of anchoring down through your pubic bone 
as you reach your chest up. Small activation through that lower back. Small compression, rather, big activation. And if you're very mobile through your lower back, you can always take a plate onto those traps. You guys notice I put the mat on there just for that extra cushion. Cushion for the pushing. That's it. <laughs> so I, okay, exactly. grab for those ropes. Okay. Wow. Wow, I'm feeling it. What are Eight we doing seconds. now? We're skipping, baby. I know. All right, here we go. Skip. Oh, you mean like what fancy work? We'll go a little faster for 10 seconds. All right. Keep it up. Ah, Five seconds. I'm we'll so slow it down. That stops. Ow, my ass. We'll slow it down. Little jaunty skip. Come back in five. Burn it out. Okay, what about skipping backwards? Faster. Let's go forward. Walk it forward. Walk it forward. Walk it back. Slow it down. Five seconds. Sit. Woo! And rest. If you guys are having trouble, you keep getting it caught, check a couple things. One, your, your hair might be getting caught in your hair. I had to extend my rope for that reason. Another one, where you're holding the handles, all right? They should be out like this, so your elbow's tucked in as if you're gonna do a bicep curl, then out to the side. If you're going down here or up here, it might be a problem. Okay, we're so working, check your folks. hand position. Breathe. Remember to tuck that pubic bone down. A posterior tilt. Push the pubic bone into the bench. And if you'd like, you can always take your hands behind you. Come into a little bit of a shoulder extension. If you feel like you're not getting very much lift. Extending the shoulders behind you. Let me know what you think of this hybrid workout. All right, or let us know rather. Skip it, skip it. Don't take that bench too far away. We still need it. Woo. Okay, what are we doing? Skipping. I know. <laughs> so you, you did so, to me. You're so funny. I get it now. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. Okay, forward and back. Sure. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna walk forward. Then back it up. Ooh. If I back it up, I'm not gonna sing the rest of that song. Four, back, back, forth and forth. I knew that was gonna happen. So, Every time I think about skipping, <laughs> I actually fuck up. It's when I don't think about it. The beauty of these ropes is you can add weight to them to up the ante on the cardio portion of this hybrid workout. Ow! Five. I feel like it always whips me in the same spot, guys. Right across the tuchus. Right across the tuchus. The tuchus. Jesus. All right, we're gonna do a split squat. So getting those benches out, we don't need the mat. We're gonna come up with that left leg. All right, so rest that there on the bench. You still wanna make sure that this ankle is in line with this hip, drawing those hips back. Pushing that weight back as if you're gonna take a seat. Trying to keep that foot rested on the bench. You can dry your hands out front to help balance that center of gravity. 16 seconds. Obviously you guys can load this. Vest, dumbbells. If you're having a hard time, you don't have this kind of mobility in the adductors, just move it forward, honestly. Just or do what you can for now. And rest. Skip it. Do you remember Ooh. skip it? No. You don't remember that skip a game? it? No, it was skip like it. a thing you put around your ankle. Or like skip class. I remember that game. The skip no. it. It was like one long piece with a weight and you'd skip it. Oh, yes. Yeah. We have that. I have that. Okay, I didn't know that's skip. what it was called. Okay, 
My goal, ah, I was gonna say my goal is to skip for the entire 40 seconds as I tripped uh, up. My hair. Just. Okay, if you at home can do a double under, I wanna see some. Double under, do it! Yes, double under do challenge. It. Skip, 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 double under now. I can't do it. I will whip myself. Eight yeah. seconds, double under, all the way for five, four, three, two, one. Did I do it? You did it! Yay! I don't know if it counts if you stop after. <laughs> I guess <laughs> it does. The time was up. I love it. Did I do it? I saw your daughter there. Uh, I'm terrified. The oldest. To do it. In case it whips me. Okay. And then it's going double speed. Flip over to the other side. Woo. Here we go. Oh. Now, you also want to make sure there's a big flexion through the ankle. You're not just bending your knees and your hips. We're also bending at the ankle. Okay. Ideally, you want the ankle of your back and that front shin to be almost the same. So they're on an angle, but they're parallel to one another. Driving up through the midsole to heel. Make sure that knee is following the same direction as your toe. Skip you it. All wonky. Skip it time. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. Skip Woo. it challenge, guys. We want to see your videos on. Want to see your videos on the insiders group, or DM us, or tag us. You want to see those double unders or anything else impressive you can do with a rope. You got even more air for the double unders, right? What? It's more air and quicker hands. Damn it. I did it! Woo! I did it! We could do it the whole time. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> it's different doing it on camera. That was authentic, people. You can't buy that. <laughs> On camera, <laughs> you risk showing the world your huge face laceration. That would be pretty. Okay, we're gonna grab for those pink thingies and a heavier weight, looping them through your feet, around the back of your body, and then I want you to cup a weight, okay? We're coming into our sumo stance, and we're working. We're going down. And up, drive through the heels. So sumo should be nice and wide. Oh, that feels so good. I wanna do this every day. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> oh wait, I do. 15 seconds, folks. I know that yesterday I was in the park with some friends and neighbors. Someone came and someone was like, how's it going? Person was like, oh, just living the dream. You know how we say that, like, sarcastically? Yeah. But I'm like, well, we are. I'm living a freaking dream. Honestly, I, I love remember. my job, healthy family. I feel like I'm jinxing it. I don't even want to talk about it, but. <laughs> Do you remember, like, being in college, being like, why can't I just get paid to work out? <laughs> Hello? Put it out there, people. Put it into the universe. I'm not going to try that again, though. What? Double under. I will have a laceration. I will need ice. We will need a medic on set. Some fancy footwork in. Ten seconds. Woo! Speed it up. Ooh, of oh, course. Oh, butt Of lash. course. <laughs> Did we hit my butt? Maybe we hit. It's always like right here. Oh, right no. across. Okay. One more time. Same down Set thing. yourself up. Up your weight. If you see fit. Woo! My ponytail's in the part. way. I got ponytail Make sure you get problems. that hair out of the way. That hurts. Ponytail problems? You know when your pink thing pulls on your pony? Yep. Kills. 
ponytail problems. Usually, I don't wear ponytails at all. Only when I work out. Really? Yeah. Oh. I live in a high pony in the summer. I think I don't wear it at all because I always have to wear it when I'm working out. And if my hair is curly, a pony does not work. 10 seconds, come Anyone right to feel the top, me? guys. I know you're getting fatigued. Oh. Push through. Last one. Finish it. Done. Woo. Okay, guess what? We have one more exercise Should after this. Should we skip like this? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like Borat? Yeah. I'm gonna towel off. All right, grab that skipping rope. Grab a drink. You should need one by now. I know I do. Two seconds. Ooh. Here we go. Owie. So the first time I tried this speed rope, I did it without shoes. Bad idea. Put your shoes on, people. Bad idea. I don't know if you guys at home have a solid pair of indoor running shoes, but it's important. I know sometimes we cheap out because we think we're not gonna wear this outside. Damn it, I can't talk and skip. Eight but seconds. It's important to have just as good of a shoe for your indoor workouts as your outdoor, okay? Woo -hoo. Okay. Last one. We did it. Okay, flutter kicks. We're gonna grab for a bench. Kick the bottom out of one end. We want to be on an incline. And then you're bringing your back down. Okay? Three seconds. Extend your legs. Engage the core. Back ribs are firmly rooted into the bench. And we're just fluttering for dear life. Okay? The Titanic went down. And we are fluttering to safety. The lower your feet are to the ground, the more work this is on your core. I only want you to go low if you can maintain a solid connection through those back body ribs and the bench. If you're low, but you're arching your back, no good, okay? So find that connection and flutter. If you're arching, take it up on more of an incline. Woo! Four, three, two, one. I wanna stay here. You can't, we I'm gotta skip. Skipping. Look at me. <laughs> I don't, I'm not buying it. Oh, Folks look. at home aren't buying it it's either. It's a heart shape. Heart oh, shape my shoelaces. Mark. You can't skip with shoelaces. It's for you guys. Time. Oh God, look at that butt one though. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We share it all. Let's go. <laughs> skip, skip. Keep it going. We're going to do this. We've got it. Watch those handles. Make We're sure they're up. there. Another 20 seconds. Woo. So I'm sweating. Last five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay, our very last set of flutter kicks before we end it on a big skip. All right? Set yourself up. Oh no, we still have one more skip. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. So guys, if this is too difficult, of course, just grab the lever, put it back up. Ah! You ready? Do what you're capable of to get you through the set. Take your breather. We're on in five. Four, three, two, flutter! I'm not gonna talk, I'm just gonna breathe. Slow oh. flutters, fast flutters! Ah. Shark! Ah. Shark bait! <laughs> shark in the water! Halfway there! You know I've swam with sharks? No. Did you know that about me? No. Ah! Sharks and stingrays. I've done stingrays. Last, ten, Ooh. nine, Eight, seven, five, four, three, two, one. Woo. Oh, well done. So today, quite possibly, one of the funnest finishers. I don't want to amp it up too much. We got something for you. No, I'd say it. One of the funnest finishers <laughs> ever. We're going quick, we're going light. Jess and I are starting with our ankle weights on our wrists. So really, we shouldn't call it ankle weights. We should just call it weights. 
on so our those, wrists. Those are equivalent to two and a half pounds. So if you have little dumbbells, that Do works that. as well. Yeah. And if you feel like a superstar, superstar. Wait, what does she do? Superstar. 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 This one? Yeah. Superstar. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. A if you feel like a superstar, you can have the weights on your wrist and start with two and a half or five pounds in hand. And when you need to drop it, drop it. Like okay. it's hot. Boom, weight drop. Not in your house if you have hardwood floors or porcelain floors. Just don't drop your weight. <laughs> okay, towel off, grab some water. We'll meet you back here in two seconds. Yay, Woo! grab those weights. 